All right, we are going to do lesson nine using images, level six. So we always start by reading the instructions. Uploading images. You can upload images that you found elsewhere using the add image button. Go find an image of a different type of pet that you'd like and download it to your computer using right click save as, or if you're on your Chromebook, two fingers. Once you have your image, Click Add Image and upload the image from your computer onto your project where you can then use it in your page. So find an image you're allowed to use and upload it to this project. Make sure that the file name follows your naming rules. Use the image tag to display the images in your website. Make sure to add the alt attribute. So add the attribution information below the image. So if you look here, our website is called Dog vs. Cats, so we have a dog picture. We have the attribution of the picture, who took the picture, where you can find it, Wikimedia Commons, and the licensing. So now here, it wants us to put it below the cat image. So I'm going to make sure that I have several lines empty here under the cat tag. And I don't want to type the whole image tag. So I'm going to copy the dog one and put it underneath the cat, but before the end body tag. All your HTML code has to be between the two body tags. I'm going to paste that there. So if I look over here, I have two pictures of dogs. So I... I'm going to take away the name of the file. So now you only have your alternate text. Well, I'm going to look for a picture of a cat on the internet. So I'm going to call it cat. So I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to go to images. And I'm going to look up Siamese cat. Oh, kittens. Let's try them. Okay, so I'm always going to go into tools because I want to use the ones that have Creative Commons licenses. Not that I would have to purchase and use legally. So I'm going to look at a cat picture. Oh, this is really cute. So I'm going to come here and look at, look, it's from pixhere.com. I'm going to click here. Here's again the website, which is the first thing that I am going to list unless I can find a name of a person who actually put it here. So I'm going to look into license details. And if it just says Creative Commons, that's the only thing you have to do. They have not given you anything else that you have to put on there. So all you have to do is put CC. So I'm going to go back to my image. I'm going to right click it, I'm going to save image as, and it is putting it into my Google Drive under pictures. So now I'm going to go back to my code.org, remembering it's from PixX here, in fact I'm going to put that first. So again, underneath the picture I need to give the attribution, so I'm going to put in my paragraph tag and put, oh, I've forgotten it already, so I'm going to go back. Picks here. And then CC. And end paragraph tag. So, if I look over here, I should have um, my alternate text cat, but I have not given it an image yet. And here is my paragraph tag, so I'm good to go once I add my image. So I'm going to come here to add image and upload that file. So I'm going to find that under images. And it is called download one JPEG because it's the newest one that I did. So I'm going to highlight it. That's not a really good name for it. 
So if you could right click it and rename it, it would be a good idea. But we're not going to do that now. We're just going to click download and we're going to click open. So I'm going to close this and in a little bit it's going to show up over here. Here's our index. Okay. So here's the name of my picture. If I click on it, you can see the picture here. If I move this down. So here I'm going to get the name because I do not want to type that. I might misspell something or put punctuation where it doesn't belong. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to my first page of my website. I'm going to add it in between the quotation marks. And now if I'm lucky, if I look over here, I have a picture of a cat. But I don't. And I see I didn't copy the D. So again, it has to be exact. I'm going to click Refresh and Save. I've got a cat picture. Woohoo! With the attribution. It's quick and you can do it in any order. And you are done now with Bubble 6. Click Finish. You're going on to Bubble 7.